Linnell here asks, uh, my husband had a tough esophagectomy with um, original diagnosis of T3N1 M0. Um, lymph nodes tested at surgery were clear, margins were clean at resection. What are the chances of recurrence? The next plan is for Optivo one time every two weeks for a year. Does this sound like the right course? Yes. So, um, you know, as I mentioned um, earlier in my little summary, you know, for a T3 lesion or a lesion with end disease, the standard is chemo radiation, surgery, and then immunotherapy, which is Optivo. Um, and so that is, in fact, what you're getting, which is the standard of therapy and the most really up-to-date therapy uh, by adding that, that immunotherapy. Um, so uh, was there a second part to the question? I was going to mention something else. Um, um, chances of recurrence and did oh, it sound right. like... Yeah. The chances of recurrence. So... Um, the esophagus cancer is a pretty aggressive cancer and you know if there are no lymph nodes you know five-year survival is about 50 percent if it's limited to the esophagus um if there are lymph node involvement um five-year survival is about 25 percent and it kind of drops from there for metastatic disease um so the risk of recurrence is somewhere in the range of 60 to 70 percent at around two years um so it is not an insignificant number which is why you know most of us were pretty excited when the in, the the opportunity for having some therapy after surgery um was um was found on on a randomized trial which is the immunotherapy so um, yeah, the risk of recurrence is high. This is greater than 50%. And um, the Optivo should half that risk um, or double the length of time um, between your surgery and when you might have a recurrence. Do, um, is immunotherapy now used in the majority of cases or is it sort of limited to a smaller scope of people who are appropriate? Yeah, so immunotherapy is now used in the majority of cases. Um, now, having said that, um, that is in the context, the, the study basically was in the context of people who had chemo radiation, got surgery, and when the specimen came out, there was some residual cancer in the specimen. So um, some patients who uh, did not have chemo radiation, don't really fall into that study, but, but uh, clinicians might choose to use it. Um, uh, and some patients who had a complete pathological response, um, so when they take the specimen out, they don't see any evidence of tumor, they also don't fall into that category. Um, but everyone else, which is the majority, um, does fall into that category of uh, needing uh, immunotherapy or benefiting from immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. That's for my own learning.